Hey guys, welcome to Monet's Mic. Um, today's segment is going to be talking about how I manifested my makeup studio, my first celebrity client, Johnny Blaze, and graduating one time. Now, for those who don't know what Law of Attraction is or manifesting is, it's basically speaking and thinking things that you want into fruition. So I originally started this because last summer I was going through it, okay guys? Um, I was just at a really low point in my life. Um, I kind of felt like because I had so many titles, I had an expectation to live by and I had to live by society standards, but I also didn't want to lose who I was as a person. So I went on a social media fast to find out who I was and to remember those principles that I value in life. And throughout that process, I started reading. Now I had like books on my iBooks on my phone from freshman year that my professors made me read and I was just starting to read through them during my phase. I started reading Law of Attraction and How to Think Rich, something like that. Um, and so as I read throughout the summer, I just started digging in deeper and I started doing more research on it and I went on YouTube and I Googled Law of Attraction and I wanted to see if it was real. And I looked at other people's testimonies and I was like, hmm, let me just try it out. So around this time, my best friend was going to Miami for her 21st birthday and I needed some money. So I said, okay, well let's see if this is real. So I manifested a thousand dollars in order to go to Miami and I got it. I got, I went to Miami with a little over a thousand dollars. Basically what you do is you write down your goal, you write down the time amount that you are willing to reach that goal, what are you going to do in order to get that goal, and you have to do it 24-7. So I was writing it down and I was saying it as I woke up. That was cool. So as I got back into social media and school started around, I wasn't really focused on it. Um, I started getting back on it when I was just bored one day and again on YouTube looking at other people's testimonies um, and then I got back on it. So I made a law of attraction list of all the things that I want to come into fruition in 2019. One of the things was get a makeup studio. So if you don't know, I'm a makeup artist, Atlanta freelance makeup artist in Atlanta. I've been doing makeup for four and a half years now and I just graduated in May. However, I knew that I needed a place to work. I can't work in my dorm room anymore, my apartment anymore, like I want to be official. So I was going around asking, oh, how much are you charging for salon suites, this, that, and the third. People were telling me 250 a week, 300 a week, 150 a week. People were really disrespectful to me because I didn't have 100k followers. They was like, what does freelance mean? You know, just really trying to cheat me out of my money. I was, I, I find it so funny. I had stopped by Mario Shop Me Studios and he told me 100 a week. That was the best quote that I've gotten. And then my last check told me 300 a month, which is a little under 100 a week. So I was like, oh my gosh, like these two prices were really, really good. These are the best quotes that I've gotten in comparison to everybody else. And so I did a little bit more research and um, I was like, well, why don't you try to look into your own studio? So me and my business partner, um, we looked up these studios at the Exchange at Decatur, which my friend Alexis had told me about, and they were starting off at like 300 a month, and I was like, well, if, I, if I'm paying 300 a month for somebody else's suite, why don't I just pay that much for my own suite? And so we looked at the place, we ended up finding a double suite, and March 10th, I opened up my own shop. Um, in which I have a vlog of that on my channel if y'all want to go and look at that. Um, so that was one of my goals, Law of Attraction goals. Um, 
And so prior to me opening that shop, I wrote sticky notes. Um, wrote on sticky notes. I wrote all my goals on the sticky notes and I put it on my bathroom mirror because that way I'm like, I'm so busy. I brush my teeth every morning so I have no other choice but to look at this list and to say it every day. So I said it every day. Another thing that I uh, put on my list was a celebrity makeup artist. So it's funny because I had already did the list, right? And like two days later I was like why didn't I put this on my list so I put celebrity makeup artist I kid you not the next day um, my friend Amani tagged me in Johnny a uh, Johnny Blaze post and she was asking for a backup makeup artist and so I just went off on faith I was like I mean I'm just gonna send my work what can she do not respond like you know it's worth the try so I DM her my work and she um, sent me her number I text her, two days later she came to my apartment and got her makeup done. Such a sweetheart, such a loving person, good vibes. Um, the next day she texted me and was like, hey, can you do my makeup? But unfortunately I was all the way in Covington, which is an hour away from Atlanta, and she made her makeup right then and there. But it was still that principle of, wow, I manifested this. I didn't see this coming, you know what I'm saying? And I believed in myself. I've been told myself I was going to be a celebrity makeup artist. And so many people was like, in order to get your foot in the door or do a celebrity, you have to do it for free. Well, guess what? I manifested Johnny Blaze. She paid me, answered me, took pictures, met her. Such a sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and whenever she does need a backup makeup artist, she calls me and texts me and we see if I can make my schedule work. So... Um, that was like a pat on the back because so many people was like, you need to do work for free if you're trying to do a celebrity, and I didn't. Um, I, I just, after that, I was like, on go. Like, that started being my philosophy in life. Speak and think positive things into fruition, and this shall come true. Law of attraction, manifest that. I started getting deep in it, like, y'all. I kid you not, like, the same way as I worship God, like, that's how I was worshiping manifesting, okay? Because it's all, like, we control our life, you know? Everything that we think, we think negative, negative things are going to happen. If we say we're ugly, we're going to believe that we're ugly. If we say that we're rich, you may never know you're going to get a bag that day, and you may not know where the band came from. So... Um, I definitely started thinking and speaking positive things, everything like that. I said um, that I manifested graduating one time. Now, a lot of y'all may be like, what do you mean by that? Y'all, I kid you not. I had this one class this semester. It was a principle of economics. When I say this class was so hard, I failed every test except for one test. I would call my stepmom every after every test and be like, I fail, I fail, I fail. I would cry and everything. I'll be so mad. Like I would be heated because I'm like, I'm smart. Like I'm sitting up here studying. I'm reading the textbook. I'm doing the practice questions. I'm on YouTube studying the material and I'm still failing. So I'm like, man, this professor can either make or break me as far as graduating one time. Like even they changed the policy like if you failed i think one or two classes you could still walk but you would have to take that class over in the summer and i'm like no once i graduate i'm done with school like i'm not coming back to the summer and doing no classes and paying extra money like i don't know what the professor gotta do but he gotta get with it so um i was just so worried the whole semester i was so worried about his class and another class and I was like man like I I even accepted like if I don't pass this class I'm gonna have to take some to school y'all I can't do that I passed I passed for the C if anybody know me I don't do C's but that day I took that C because I walked across that stage and I graduated one time so it was just like little things like that I just started making that my philosophy or my everyday thing and my life has changed tremendously and so i actually have a book now um i started manifesting once i wake up 
and I try to do it before I go to sleep but I always do it at least once a day and I have this book and I wrote down like all of my goals for 2019 and as I accomplish each goal I mark it off like I still have my um, goals on my mirror in my bathroom and it's like scratches off and it's actually inspiring for other people who use my bathroom and they see that so some things on my list is have more revenue in 2019 graduate May 20th 2019 with all my credits passing all of my classes check be a celebrity makeup artist check I've done a celebrity but I want to do more and I want to be like um, a TV a reality TV makeup artist movie makeup artist magazine covers um, red carpet event makeup artist, BT Grammys makeup artist. So when I say be a celebrity makeup artist, it's like way higher than the bare minimum. Be successful and wealthy, blow up as an entrepreneur, be financially stable, have peace, love, and protection in my life, be surrounded around wise, influential, and wealthy people, billionaires and millionaires. Now, when I wrote that last statement down, I started meeting so many people in the media and networking and connecting with them and started getting my own bookings for media coverage. Y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all better stop sleeping on this stuff. We control our life. Uh, meet other wealthy and boss mighty entrepreneurs. Be healthy, be genuinely happy, gain weight in the right places. Get a car, gain a higher clientele. Perfect my technique with mink extensions, save money, and do really well on saving and investing. Be more humble, loving, understanding, patient, and kind. Have more business opportunities. Gain more exposure within my business. Travel more and be completely um, paid off. Pay off all of my student loans within five years or less. So these are just um, a little examples of like what I want to come into fruition in my life. Um, but I definitely say like get into it. I definitely say look more into it. It's not only my testimony. If you go on YouTube or if you do internet research, it's so many people who have testimonies of doing a lot. You know, get into it. Educate yourself on it. Start practicing it because you never know how successful you can be. You never know how life changing you can be in your own life or other people's life you never know what you can attract um always be positive you know what i'm saying like for example in the book that i was reading it talked about how um somebody was in the hospital and the doctor said that they have cancer and they only have two days to live and that person kept saying i don't have cancer i don't have cancer i don't have cancer all the nurses and doctors thought that they were crazy they did another x-ray check the next day they said I don't know what happened, a miracle has happened, but it says that you are cancer free. So it's just little things like that. You can control your life, you can control your happiness. I definitely say get into it. If you read, um, read the book, it's real. It has happened to me, it's happened to other people who I've watched. And yeah, I hope that this inspires other people to go out and get it. Um, if you have a similar story, Feel free to comment your story below and yeah, like, comment, and subscribe.